Hello and welcome to the No Name Prayer Podcast. I am your host, Monica. Let us begin our daily devotional from the Be Still book. Today we're reading my from my favorite um, scripture, Jeremiah 29 11. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Plans for welfare and not for evil, to give you a future and a hope. God has a plan for your life. If you're feeling aimless and purposeless, it is not because your life is meaningless. It's because you haven't yet heard what God desires most for you. In one sense, God has a plan for all of mankind. This plan is for us to glorify Him. Not because He needs an ego boost. God doesn't need anything. But because He knows that we are made to worship, not to be worshipped. Anytime we put ourselves on the pedestal, or others put us there, we are sure to disappoint Being saturated with attention and glory can become addictive. There's a little tyrant in each each one of us that wants to be in charge. This tyrant needs to be starved, not fed. Bringing glory to God is our first and most important purpose. Then God has a plan for women. He has gifted us in certain ways. And his plan is for us to share those gifts with the world. Our ability to nurture, create beauty, bring life, and share a spirit of graciousness is something to be celebrated, not squelched. Many of our homes and gathering places are suffering neglect because too many women are ignoring this important aspect of who we are. We do not achieve equality with men by being exactly what they are. We achieve equality when our unique feminine gifts are equally valued as the masculine ones. God has also given each of his children spiritual gifts. These are given to us for the benefit of others. When we discover our spiritual gifts and the needs in the world that we care about passionately, We are well on our way to discovering our specific calling. But if we take our gifts and focus on how we can use them to benefit ourselves, God's plan for our lives will remain elusive. God's plan for us is always good. Even when circumstances make us question what he's up to, we can be assured that he is weaving together every heartache and breakthrough to create a unique beautiful life because of this there is always hope dear lord may i take the time to ask you what your plan is for my life and to check my motives with my current pursuits am i doing what i'm doing for my own glory or for yours amen Thank you, God, for for being such a good father to us, for planning our future for us, for giving us hope, for planning for the plans of welfare and not for evil that you have created us for. We ask you to help us understand our purpose Lord, what are my gifts, Lord? What, how can I use those gifts, Lord, to glorify you, to help others, to bring glory to you by helping others, Lord? What can I do, Lord, where people will see you when they see me, that they hear you when they hear me, Lord? I pray that you receive the answers you are looking for that you continue to rely on him to tell you to let you know to put those those thoughts those to that drive in your heart or what it is that he wants for you from you in jesus name we pray amen
hope you have a wonderful day. God bless you. Hit the follow button, share with a friend. And as always, pray for me that I will be praying for you.